Top of the world, top of the world, it's your Uncle BK, Baby Truth. I don't know why they say that. My name is Baby Truth. Today we're here to talk about a topic that's so sensitive, but so real in so many men's minds and hearts. How do you get a woman to instantly, instantly regret making the decision of leaving you? You know, I know sometimes... You try to all in a relationship. You try to do all. You try to give your all. You try to be your all. And it just don't work for whatever reason. And you feel like sometimes you might have been that best option, that best choice for that woman. She just can't see it. But you got to realize, man, when we run on uh, emotion, you know? So a lot of times they're, yeah, definitely, they're going to, leave you and go for a man that's less obvious as the motherfucking choice for her when you definitely more obvious you definitely more qualified you know and you definitely you know got more going for yourself women run on emotions you know feelings thoughts perceptions that they might create you know I'm not saying it's a good thing, not saying it's a bad thing, but women do run off that. <coughs> <coughs> women do run off that, so instead of you running around, roaming around, thinking, what did I do, how did I do, what could I could have done better to keep this woman around, or what, 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 the, what is it, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to just lay it flat out on the line for you guys. Sometimes in a relationship, going back to previous videos I done did, you could be thinking in your mind, I want to give this woman the world because she's a queen, she's beautiful, I've never had nobody like this, I never felt like this in my life, but that might, might not be the way that she wants to be loved, you know? So you really got to dig deep into these love languages, but... Like I said, that's a video for another day and another time. Right now, we're going to talk about how to get this woman to instantly regret ever playing with you like you some peon, getting with a lame and a neon. They ain't even got no free on. So the first thing that you got to do to realize the situation at hand, you got to analyze this situation. One, you got to already know. Just because our women mind and heart is designed that they always looking for better, it's not nothing against you. It's just they they have been sold this fairy tale um, way of living, this fairy tale story in their mind, and they believe that that's what it is. Now a lot of them do settle, but when they settle, they still are somehow, some way thinking somebody gonna come back in that dark, come back, you know. And giving that special love story, you know. And you could be that one. But there's like a lot of things that you got to understand. First off, when this woman ghosts you, dumps you, leaves you for the next man. Or she thinks it's the next best thing. Like my favorite rapper, Dustin Defonse. My bitch left me for a nigga she thought was richer than me. He had a couple licks, but everything consistent with me. You know. <clears throat> Don't focus on <clears throat> what you did wrong, girl. How to get her back. Don't even focus on that relationship. Focus on how to keep moving. The good that you learn from it about yourself. The bad that you learn from it about yourself. Start going to that gym. Start getting real active and attractive on these bitches. And what I mean by that is you got to like think about the origin of you. Get back to what you like to do. You might like to rap. You must like. You might like to bust a couple flows. You know. You might have been a player back in the day and like to pop at the hoes. But you know, you need to get back to the essence of you. Like I said, this is a video about making that woman regret that she stopped fucking with you. Making that woman feel like she about to eat motherfucking dog shit. You feel me for the rest of her life. You know, get in that gym. Change your hairstyle up, you know, a hairstyle that you might have always want to try. You know, it's really about reinventing yourself in these stages when your woman has left you and you really like trying to get her back. 
you know, if you don't know how to reinvent yourself, I do got the 263 website that will be ready in a few days. You can go in there and get my music. You can go in there and get the merch. You'll go in there and be able to do consultations and all that with, with your favorite partner. You feel me? I'll ask me whatever. You'll be able to do, you know, one-on-one, FaceTimes, calls, whatever. But, like I said, it's about bringing out the best you that you could be in this time of lonesomeness. Because one thing that you got to know, she going to be looking, trying to make sure she made that right decision or trying to look for any and everything to be like, you know what? I'm glad I left him, you know? So, don't focus on her. Don't try to chase her down. Don't call her. No text. And me personally, what I do is, I sit there and text her like, you know what, baby? Maybe you are right. I appreciate this time that we had together. And this will be my last time contacting you. I feel it's best that, you know, we end it this way. And I get to mash. I'm talking about in the gym every day. See, right now, I got to cut like this, bro. I probably fade my shit up, get some waves, probably dread my shit up, you know. I don't know. Probably shave it, you know, shave it bald around the side, put some dreadlocks at the top. I don't know, get some new frame. Mm -hmm. Probably get some more jewelry. If you're in a position to get jewelry, get more jewelry. If you're in a position to shop, shop. Like, straight ball on that bitch. Like, make that bitch feel like she truly fucked up she truly got the wrong nigga like that's what you gotta do because the bitch is gonna be watching but don't be on motherfucking facebook instagram all that shit being sad talking about oh i miss the bitch the bitch missed me the good times we had and this is that and the third nah granted players do fuck up i have been in that position too but more times than not i didn't mash them you feel me I didn't act like the bitch it didn't even matter to me, even if I was the one that let it go or she was the one let it go because everybody in this motherfucking world want a person that they can't have, for real. <laughs> my nephew and my son are crazy. I'm trying to give y'all advice, but, you know, this is real. And when they get a little bit older, I'm be giving them the same advice. The heart grows fonder with this thing. So, <coughs> not... <coughs> That lady intercepting your calls and none of that. Shit, stop calling. Don't try to write an email. Don't try to write a Skype, a kite. You can't talk to a friend. Pop up on a friend's house. None of that shit. Literally treat it like as if you never knew the bitch. What was you doing before you knew her? What was your goals in life? What was the things that sparked your interest? You got to get back to that. Because every time, like I said, when she tap on that the website, she gonna see that you living it, having fun. She gonna be like, "Wow, maybe I made the wrong choice." He's truly happy. Maybe it was me. Maybe it wasn't him. Maybe I'm so unhappy because I didn't understand. You know what I'm saying? But hey, this your Uncle B K, baby. Truth. I don't know why they say that. It's baby truth. Listen. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers, so I need all my people to like this, share this, comment, and mother subscribe. You did. Hey, something always dropping over here. It's always sunny when a young, you want it, you know what I'm saying? But hey, tap in with your baby. I gotta go. These boys tearing up the crib and the laundry day. Y'all see how my bed looks. It's crazy.